Welcome back to Like RE Studios. I'm Bo LaPointe, president of LikeRE.com, the real estate social network. With me today, I have the pleasure of interviewing Tony Martinez. He is the owner of CDPE. Tony, thanks so much for joining us. Bo, it's a pleasure. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. Absolutely. Now, Tony, can you tell us what CDPE stands for? Yes, it's actually Certified Distressed Property Expert. We are a private real estate designation that's devoted to teaching real estate professionals how to successfully negotiate short sales. Can you explain to, to the audience what a short sale is? Yeah, and a lot of people that have engaged in it will say, why is it called a short sale when it can take so long, right? <laughs> right, so exactly. <laughs> it, yeah, so it, it's kind of like the opposite of normal real estate. In normal real estate, traditional real estate, a seller has equity, right? They're selling because they want to or they have a situation where they need to sell, but they have equity. So they're going to enjoy the fact that when it's all said and done, they're going to walk away with some money, right? It's completely up to them who they sell for, what they sell for, how much, and then what's net proceeds, it's theirs. Well, imagine a situation where someone is underwater, meaning okay. that they owe more on the property than they can possibly sell it for. Okay. And this can occur for several different reasons, but the short uh, answer is when a property is underwater, they owe more than they can sell it for, then a skilled professional needs to step in, get that property sold, and we need to engage the bank or banks. So sometimes they have multiple mortgages and mm. other liens. And we essentially have to get everyone to agree to lose money. Think about that, right? Hmm, right. The bank is owed X amount of money, but we're saying, listen, they can't afford the mortgage. They can't go forward. They prefer to exit the property with dignity. They don't want a foreclosure on their record. Mm -hmm. Would you please accept this reduced offer and allow them to transfer title to the new buyer and be able to get out and on with their lives? Uh, Tony, what motivated you recently to acquire the CDPE brand? Well, I think to properly answer that, I have to give you a little bit of a history lesson. Okay. So this designation was actually created back in 2007, 2008 by uh, an amazing couple that really seized the opportunity to provide training in an area that just really, it, it wasn't there. It didn't exist. Uh, a lot of folks may or may not remember what happened in 2008 with the mortgage crisis, right? Right. And the, the, the tremendous hit that it was on our economy overall. Mm -hmm. Well, millions and millions of individuals were losing their homes to foreclosure. And there just really wasn't any viable training available to help real estate agents engage in short sales. Mm -hmm. So they stepped up. They created this amazing course. Uh, it was taught over two days. And I was blessed enough to join them toward the end of 2008. And in the beginning of 2009, I taught my first CDPE class. Okay. And I went on to teach way over 10,000 agents how to do short sales across the country. Oh. For two and a half years, I was just on a plane every single week to one area of the country or the other. And I also was given the, the task, the privilege of training other CDP instructors, because we needed so many people okay. to engage the number of agents that wanted this training. And so that designation grew to almost 50,000 wow. agents taking it. Yeah, it became the fastest growing real estate designation of all time. Didn't well, yeah, uh, it's amazing. Well, <laughs> you know, it, there came a point in time where I got a little burned out through traveling. Uh, mm -hmm. I had two small kids at the time. We made a lot of sacrifices for, for me to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. And I went in, went on to become a broker, okay. uh, a real estate broker. Now, I never lost a passion for teaching short sales. I always taught it to anyone that wanted to listen to it. But let's face it, the economy improved. The situation in our country improved vastly. Equity started coming back. And so you, you started hearing less and less about foreclosures, right? And mm -hmm. less and less about short sales. And it's not that they went away. It's never going to go away. Bad things happen to good people every single day. It just wasn't front page news. And so the owners of the time of the CDP, they made a business decision probably around 2019, 2020 to no longer support the designation. And for all intents and purposes, it closed down. Hmm. Um, well, when COVID hit, right, it's mm -hmm. March, April 2020, lockdowns. 
forbearance, millions of individuals taking the government up on the offer of not having to pay their mortgages, whether they needed to or not. Hey, why not? Right. Right. And I started looking at my crystal ball and it became less fuzzy. And I'm thinking (laughs) we're going to have a problem in a few months. Right. And I started ramping up my training again. And I started doing it via Zoom, of course. Everything was via Zoom at that time. Mm -hmm. And we got to the point where people kept asking me, well, is this going to be a designation? I would like to have some initials after my name and things of that sort. And I go, yeah, you know, I think we can evolve to that point. And at one point I go, wait a minute, what's wrong with me? Why would I consider launching a new one? when the best one of all time, the gold standard of short sale designations was Mm -hmm. essentially sitting there Mm -hmm. waiting for me to buy it. Gotcha. And so I went to a higher power, my wife, and I go, (laughs) can I buy the CDPE? (laughs) (laughs) And she said, okay. (laughs) And I approached the owners and uh, given my passion for it, my history with them, Uh, they truly felt that I was in a position to continue the legacy Mm -hmm. and bring it back. And that's what I did. Uh, We finalized the transaction May 20th of 2021. And no sooner than I did that, I put the word out that former CDPs could come back and renew and that we were going to start teaching again so that a whole new generation of agents would be equipped to step up and help individuals as the situation starts to worsen. Now, you mentioned a couple of things, Tony, I want to circle back to. Um, first of all, it sounds like what you're saying is that the need for the services of, of CDPE for short sales um, is around regardless of what's happening within economic conditions. I mean, as you mentioned, uh, the recession mm-hmm. back in 2008 to 2012 was a heavy time for use for, mm-hmm. for entity like CDPE. But even in good times, there's people who are still underwater and going to need some help. Yes. And that's one of the areas where I'm getting a lot of pushback. You know, it's one of those things that not everyone agrees that we're headed into a scenario where this is going to be needed. So let me I would like to address that. Let's start with the fact that I am in no way, shape or form advocating. In fact, I'm praying that we never have a scenario like 2008 again. I do not expect that. Okay, though. We have always proven to not necessarily learn from history, but to repeat history. Mm. So that situation, we don't know yet. Mm -hmm. I didn't buy it with the expectation. We're going to get 50,000 people in the world. No, no, that's not the point. And here's how I like to describe it. If 2008 was a tsunami, it was a hundred foot tsunami. Yeah. Uh, I don't anticipate that this next wave of foreclosures is going to be a hundred footer, maybe 20 foot maybe 25 foot, nowhere near as bad right. as a hundred, but mm-hmm. still can cause a lot of damage, right? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So this is not a situation where I'm advocating or prophesizing that this is going to be the market going forward. It's a niche. Sure. It's, sure. it's a valuable component. And for a skilled real estate practitioner, this could be another arrow in their quiver sure. as they're going out there trying to Um, separate themselves, distinguish themselves from the competition, Mm -hmm. and also, again, to serve, this could be an excellent way for them to do so. Tony, you've done a fantastic job of explaining CDPE, the history of it, um, and and with the direction things are going to it. I want to say thank you so much for your time. Is there anything else that you'd like to add at this time? I I would like to add the following. You know, uh, we respect the fact that uh, different real estate agents have different schedules and commitments and requirements. So right now, the bulk of the training on the CDP is being taught via Zoom. We will eventually start teaching live again, but Mm -hmm. Zoom gives us so many different opportunities and flexibility, right? Right. And every session is taught over five consecutive weeks, and it's taught in two-hour segments. I like the space training approach. I don't like to overwhelm people. 10 hours of this Mm -hmm. training, because I bring it, I bring it with all the intensity and passion that I can possibly muster. And it can be like taking a sip of water from a fire hose. (laughs) If I try to just go ahead and throw it at you in one sitting, right? So I'm delivering it over five consecutive weeks. And then even if they missed the session, even if the session went completely over their head, they get Mm -hmm. a recording that evening. 
Uh, but they can play it over and over and over again until it just starts to be absorbed. Uh, mm -hmm. So there is flexibility for people that are maybe part-time or are very, very busy. And uh, I think that that's a way that we can accommodate the most people. Thank Tony, you. thank you so much for, again for your time. We certainly appreciate it. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I can't wait to have you back again soon. Okay, great. Thanks. You bet. Bye now.